Well, well. Hey, what's going on guys? So this is Skip from 533 and we are back to testing. Just like I said, we're going to put the VCI on a lightweight build. These are direct soldered. These are the VCI dual ball bearing 30,000 KV. And uh, if you missed the last one, go and check out the last one because it's got the motor plug straight out the box on the whoop and uh, a TPU mount. We've, we've lightened this thing up a very considerable amount. So uh, let's take a deep dive and look at it and I'll tell you what's on it. All right, so as normal, we got peak screws and we have the uh, Beta FPV 2.0, BT 2.0 on it. This is the Happy Model 2G4, and it's got the ELRS antenna, ceramic antenna already on it. I like 5-in-1 boards, that's why I've done this. And it's got a PP polypropylene mount. I designed that one myself at 40 degrees. And then it also has the TBS Black Sheep antenna. It's like kind of like a tape antenna. And then... Of course, you've got the VCI dual ball bearing 30,000 KVs on it. And these are the uh, HQ Prop 0.9 pitch. All right, guys. So let's take this thing in here and see what it looks like on the scale because I think you'll be surprised on how low of a weight we got this. And I hope we can see a big difference in power to weight ratio and uh yeah just take a look at it so if you look right here we got it down to 15.44 grams and you can see uh that is zeroed out and then when you put it on there 15.44 all right guys let's go and do the test we have our same batteries that we used on the last test we have them right here and they're the same uh, batteries that's been raced before I also have a new battery this is a brand new Weebleed 465 and uh, we're going to try that one out also but here are the batteries and we're using uh, the Weebleed 465's and the Tattoo uh, 300 Ma alright so let me get my radio here and what we're going to do is just plug it up like last time here is my test stand right here i'm going to zoom you guys in there we go you guys can see that pretty well so if you didn't watch it last time we done it the same way and we just put it on this uh brushed whoop uh, frame just like that and we stuck that on top and we full throttled it so we're going to do the same thing we're going to do like we did before we're going to start with the Weebly batteries there is no frame cuts have been made or anything uh, the only thing that's different is this has been soldered on on the 2G4 board and uh, that's that's about it. All right, plug it in here. All right, now we're going to tear the weight. It's on zero. And here we go. Seventy one. Sixty-three. Sixty. All right. There's our three pulls. And uh, we're giving these motors uh, quite a bit. You know, that's, that's not easy on these motors. All right. Let's do our other Weebly battery. Got it on the test stand, centered up, 
The white's at zero. Now here we go. Sixty. Sixty-five. Eighty-one. I gotta do that again. Sixty-six. All right, there's the Weebly 465s. I'm gonna fill this board, make sure it's not hot, fill the motors, nothing is hot. It all feels good, we'll continue testing. Here is the TAT2300 battery. All right, tear the weight. We got zero grams. Oh, tear it again. All right, here we go. 63. 65. 70. All right, we've done three pulls on that one. Sixty-seven. Fifty-nine. Seventy. Three pulls on it. All right. So the top is the top we've seen is eighty-one. And then I think the bottom is uh, 59, 58, something like that. All right, here is the brand new Weebly 465 battery. We're going to plug this in and uh, see what it does. It's fully charged. This has not been ran before, so this is the first time this has been plugged up. Tear the weight. All right, here we go. 54. Oh. 54. All right, it's doing something weird. We're going to unplug it and just give it a minute. So all the boards, were, every, all the motors there were just going toot, 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 toot. They weren't actually spinning. So let me feel it here. It doesn't feel too hot. So I don't think the core temperature is too hot. Let me just plug it in normal here. Set it down normal and just see if it'll arm. Okay, we got two back motors that are not arming now. Okay. I've never seen that before. All right. So I'm going to look, inspect the board, make sure I don't have any uh, anything burnt off of it or anything weird going on. Make sure I don't have any wires touching. I'm going to get a pick real quick and I'm going to like pick between each side. This thing it may have gotten too hot I don't feel the heat though 
So I'm just going in between the solder joints here, making sure there ain't nothing that touching that might have shorted out somehow. I don't know how it would even work. All right, now I'm going to look at the motor wires too. Make sure the motor wires are all on it and looking good. Looks like all the motor wires are on it and looking good. It's been a minute since I've ran it. So I'm going to take this battery and set it off to the side and try another battery. And the only thing I can think of is maybe that battery has went kaput. I don't know. I've not seen that before. Okay, that's working. All right, so I'm starting to think I, this battery has a problem. We'll try it one more time here. This is a brand new Weebly battery, and that is the first time I've used it, so I don't know here. All right, that looks fine. All right, we're gonna do one more pull with this brand new battery. Sixty-six. All right, we've given this thing enough crap for today. Uh, so another thing I wanted to show is, so if we were to use this 15 gram whoop and put a battery on it, what would it weigh? Oh, tear this weight. All right, we're at 23.86 grams. So 23.86 grams. And with, with the thrust that we just got, I'm gonna say uh, we went all the way up to 81. So we went from 59 to 81. I'm gonna say it's gonna be around the 70s. I think 70 is a fair uh, median. Uh, if anybody thinks it's different in the comment below, just let me know, but I'm going to go with 70 because 81 was not displayed every time. So, uh, we're going to go with 70 and that's going to be, uh, 70 divided by 23.8. And that's going to give me my power to weight ratio. And I have to say, with these soldered on, with these with with these soldered on, if they perform way better, uh, I think you could see a major difference between the two. So uh, you know, with less weight, the battery soldered on. I mean, the the uh, motor soldered on instead of plugged up. I think you're getting a way better result. So I think that uh, we actually showed some uh, numbers that goes towards that if you are light on weight and uh, you solder your motors directly, that your performance is better. So uh, now we got to see how it flies. And I'm going to leave that to the next video. I hope you liked this video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. We're going to be doing this with more motors. I've got another set of motors to do this with. And we're just going to keep doing it. And uh, see what we get. And hopefully we get uh, lighter weights. And and uh, higher thrust. So uh, these right here. These uh, VCI. They're, they seem like they rip pretty good. And for it to be a 15.5 gram whoop. Uh, that gives me a good power to weight ratio. And uh, it's way better than it having plugs on it. And uh, I think we've seen an improvement uh, on the scale. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Check out the next video of us flying this around. See ya.